Hello. In this video, I want to show you how to create a span lift topology using the Cisco Packet Tracer. Cisco Packet Tracer is a simulation tool from Cisco that helps us prepare for the CCNA and basic modeling. CCNA is one of the Cisco certification for the networking world, and what I like to do is actually divert from the original legacy core distribution access. Uh, networking model to something more modern which is a spinal leaf where we are only a couple jumps away from our destination and increase resilience increase capacity removes the spanning tree protocol issues that actually come come with that and modern networking um, technologies really rely on that uh, the version that I want to be using at this time is going to be the version 8.2.1 from Cisco Packet Tracer and the topology is going to look like this. We're going to have two uh, spine uh, routers and two leaf routers because the limitation on Cisco Packet Tracer I'm not going to connect those via IBGP. I want to use EVGP and in that respect I want to simulate with a local loopback addresses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 respectfully and 8 at 8 at the bottom uh, to demonstrate the resilience of the network. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, start a new new drawing. We want to use for the usage of the interfaces um, Cisco routers 2911 because they have three interfaces to connect in the CCNA lab. So I want to drag the respective spines, two spines, and I want to drag two leaves. And additionally, I want to have one more internal router. Uh, I wish they have the little aligned feature just to kind of get there. But anyway, you got, you got the point. So with all those connections, what I like to do is actually go to the exercise of uh, see what is going to be looking in the display. This is going to be my spine one. Uh, the second one is going to be my spine 2, which I want to just denominate as S2. Just for the ease of this one, uh, I want to actually do the um, loopback address, just to for easy easy to identify. I want to do the 1.1.1.1. One, the one, the one, the one. And my leaf, in this case, the display name, I want to do leaf 1 which is going to be 3.3.3.3 and I want to do the leaf number 2 which is going to be um, four dot four dot four four. my loopback address that's the one I want to advertise uh, my display on this one is going to be leaf 3 and it's going to be 5.5.5, my loopback address, my internet uh, router, in this case the display I want to be internet, which is going to be 8.8.8.8. Okay, that's what it looks like right now. So let's go ahead and do the respective connections. I want to select Ethernet 00, 00 with 00, 00, and as well I want to select zero uh, one with zero, 00 and the last one which is going to be zero 02 with zero, 00. Good. Now I want to take the spine 2, zero, 00. It's going to be respectfully with zero 01. Uh, the zero 01 with the zero 01 and the last one the zero 02 with the zero 01 in this case. Uh, and then I started on this one, which will be the last one, zero 02 with zero 00 from left to right, keeping that order. For zero 02 to zero 01, and respectfully, going to be the zero 02 to zero 02. Everything's connected. Good deal. Uh, the script that we want to use is going to be this. It's going to help us to go through the settings. Uh, let's go real quick. The spine is going to have a loopback address 101 as described in the, sh in the drawing um, diagram and uh, gigabit 00. If we want to go to left to right, top to bottom, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, it's going to be the connection 1 to 1, subnet 11, higher is going to be 1, the other one's going to be 2, with a slash 30, uh, this one is going to be 1, 2, 
uh, slash dot one dot two, and it's going to be one dot three. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to select in this, and this is just a design for the lab. It can really be whatever IP addresses you like to actually set up. I'm just going to go ahead and use this ones for now. And show IP interface brief. You can see it actually took it. Let's go and jump real quick to the CLI of the spine two. Respectfully, let's go to the scriptlet. We have everything pre-staged, almost like a cooking show, right? We have everything ready. So actually, when I go ahead and do this, and let's go ahead and paste the config to. Nice, it took it. Uh, let's go to the, we can actually save the configs as we go. Let's go to the spine, leaf, leaf one. It's going to have similar addresses. In this case, leaf one is going to have the leaf one hostname one, loopback address three. It's going to have, of course, one, the one, the two, the two, the two, and the 11 because it's one, one, one. Just simple addressing. It could be, of course, in your case, the IP addressing could be different, but uh, you got the idea. Just got slash 30s. Um, and let's And then we have the IP addresses, and let's go to leave two real quick here. Uh, leave two. Um, it's ready to get the config, the config, the IP address, the loopback address for the respective addresses. I want to go ahead and get there. It took it. This is good. Let's go for the leaf number three. And this is using five routers, but the resilience that increases is incredible. This is amazing design. It actually is resilient, is predictable, is solid, is robust. Uh, I mean, I can really be more happy to, excited to make this video. Um, future network technologies is going to embrace all this, and we don't want things to go down. Uh, we like uh, things to be solid, consistent, working, and predictable. So uh, eventually we can bring automation to start verifying all those settings. So eventually we don't running or risking any anything in terms of uh, not having the assurance that everything's working the way it's supposed to. So right here, I need to go into configuration mode and then get the, the, the configuration here. Here we go. Everything is looking good. Everything is looking really good. But we don't have any awareness of addresses. We don't have any advertising. We don't have any routing. So we need to go ahead and enable routing. So let's go ahead and do that. Because we want to be using uh, the Cisco Packet Tracer. We cannot use IVGP. So in this case, we're going to use EVGP. So what we want to do is actually assign an AS number. I want to make a neighbor. And eventually, want to put a... Um, I'm going to advertise a mask. That's all we're doing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it real fast here for all the settings. Uh, router, VGP, my neighbors, and my advertise subnet in this case. That's all I'm doing. Uh, so I put IP address in the first pass. I'm configuring VGP in the second pass. Establishing some neighbor relationships and advertising some specific loopback addresses. Uh, pretty straightforward. Eventually, the adjacency is going to come up. Let's, let's remember uh, VGP is not the fastest protocol in the world, but it drives the internet, so that's a good thing. Here we go, the adjacency came up. Uh, let's go to number three. Uh, router BGP 60.0.5.30, my neighbors, my masks, and and again, I always want to put the configs and, and the details for the video. I want to put the information about this configuration so you can actually follow, follow along and get things working as usual. Config T. Here we go. So now, in leaf 3, 
we have awareness of the network. We should be able to hit the spine correctly. We should be able to hit both spines actually. We should be able to reach the leaf, the internet. Life is good and that should be the same thing in all the leaves. Nice. Uh, last but not least, so I BGP summary. My spine is good. My other spine is good. Okay, let's go to the extra dot. And my internet address is fine. Good deal. So right now I can actually go there. I always like to do this. Um, it looks kind of a little, makes a little bit, makes a little bit better. Identify here. This is my BGP and there we go. So with all that said, um, one of the things needly to say right here, if I uh, wanted to do direct connect, well actually from the spine, if I wanted to do ping 8.8.8, it's not gonna work. And the reason for that is because the fate of the sourcing IP Ping IP, it doesn't know about the advertising address where I can reach that one. Uh, it is on my route. Um, however, if I want to do that, I'm learning the route via VGP. I have to do extended ping uh, on the target address, and um, I need to do the extended commands to sources for my loopback address. In this case, it's going to be one that one that one that one, and life is good. I should be able to get connectivity. So what I want to demonstrate right now <clears throat> is in terms of spine one in the top top right, I want to put a continuous ping to demonstrate the beauty or the magic of uh, this technology, this architecture. And also I want to put at the bottom left, just to put it right here. Mm. What it would look like in case you're following. Um, good deal. So I want to do a thousand pings in one side, a thousand pings in the other one, and eventually I want to start playing around a little bit with the <coughs> router interface to start shutting things down and see how that affect the resilience of the network. So this is the internet at the bottom. I want to have. Uh, here on the left, the spine two, that's fine. Uh, we can probably condense a little bit more here to give more space here. So what I want to do here is one of the ping IP. This is a spine two, so I'm gonna go for the way to the internet. Repeat 1000 pings. Yes, I want to extend the command. Since this is spine two, is going to do two dot two dot two dot two. Sweep ranges. I want to stay, stay right there. I want to do ping, IP address IP eight 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 eight. Repeat one thousand times, thousand pings. Oh, I missed the extended commands. Let me repeat this real quick. Uh, eight 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 eight. 1000, 100 is fine, timeout, extended, yes. My source, this is uh, uh, spine one. All right, I'm ready to go. Yes, here it goes, fire in the hole. Both are doing ping. If I do show IP interface brief, you can see things are moving, packets are flowing. So I'm gonna go ahead and show down the interface, let's say the zero, zero in the internet router at the bottom. So config the left link, config T interface gigabit zero zero, shut down. You can see the red. It had a little blink here, have a little dot, stop it. It saw I did here, it continue. So that tells actually you lose connectivity for a little while, it continues. So let's go ahead and carry on. Let's go ahead and do interface gigabit zero one. Let's shut it on that one. Let's shoot on the second one. Look at this, another bleep. Another bleep, like a dot, dot, and connectivity is gonna reestablish with BGP. All the traffic is coming from one and two coming this way. Now it gets better. It gets better here. I have to have a li one link alive at least. <clears throat> I wanna show down on L3, 
on L3, I want to show down the interface that is connecting from 2 to 3. So show IP interface brief is that gigabit 01. Config T interface gigabit 01 show down. Let's go back and take a look how it looks like. You got another bleep. Connectivity continues. Look at that. Network flap, interface flap. All the traffic is coming here to this guy. Now, in, in some point, um, the traffic from here is has to be bouncing. We can shoot on this interface just to force it that this one has only one access to the crisscross. So I'm going to go to router one and the interface show IP interface brief. The one comes from 2 1. 2 1 this one which is give it 0 1 I want to shut it down let's take a look let's see how the packets are going look at that another blip another blip here so now look how bad our network is work is doing we only have a route that comes from here yes he goes straight but for this other guy, in order to reach 8, has to come back down. We can demonstrate on S2, come back with a ping up here, return right here, and get there. So it's almost making like another loop. S1 is pretty straightforward. If I do trace route uh, IP on 8.8.8.8.8. And I can do source address. In this case, it's S1. Two jumps, and I'm there, of course, because he goes there to 1.3 correctly and 1.3.1. Now let's try to do the same thing from this S2. Trace route IP on 8.8.8.8.8 and it's going to be the source address 2.2.2.2.2.2. Look at that. It goes as suspected here from 2.2 to 2.2.2 to this one from 1.2 one back to the uh, others other spine and from one tree and then eventually just kind of that now this is very very impressive considering we have all these interfaces down let's go ahead and notch down the interfaces some of those let's see how can we survive um notch it down no shut down and now I want to go there even better I want to do a physical shutdown of the router we're losing spine one well let me make sure it's safe I believe it is okay to physical, I'm gonna shut them off, and of course I cannot do the ping trace anymore because it's been shut off. I can do another trace route to the same IP, eight at eight at eight at eight, and the source address will be two dot two dot two dot two, and connectivity get restored in two jumps, even though if one of the spine routers is down. So the exercise, the result of this one is. Spinal leaf is pretty awesome. Spinal leaf is pretty impressive design in terms of resilience, in terms of the networking design. Um, basically, two spines and eventually can grow three leaves. If potentially you have in your data center more growth, you can start adding more and more resources and you can start adding more leaves of course respectfully in that regard you have to start adding more spines and eventually that's gonna how to grow a scale horizontally and that's gonna be the solution on modern networking how to overcome capacity issues and the resilience no matter you can actually do maintenance shut down interfaces unplug things upgrade things things will just work either one way or another one um, this is this changed completely the modern way of thinking and networking this changed the way of doing things moving forward of course this is a representation of the local address it could be more things connected your servers your data center uh, some other internet connectivity this could be just going to get traffic like east west uh, to the internet leaving these the core things just kind of working together and potentially 
one of the things that eventually I, I like to cover in the future is talk concepts like VXLAN that eventually embrace mobility on, on, on capacity within the same concepts, spine leaf that eventually bring in agility and networking. But for now, this is all what I wanted to show you guys. Hopefully you like it. This is an amazing technology, spine leaf is really, really impressive and uh, hopefully in your designs you can embrace some kind of technology like this. This is uh, definitely the, the future in modern networking. We like to make things working, we like the things to be resilient, we like things to work no matter what. Hopefully enjoy, stay safe, have a great day, kudos like always and if, give a thumbs up to the video if you like it. Have a great day, bye now.